welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna talk about one of my favorite topics, one of the best reasons to be in Hampton, and that is the beaches. Our aquatics manager is here, Bob Manners. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I think one of the best things about Hampton is the beaches, and I mm -hmm. love that we have this huge diversity of beaches. You can go to a very natural beach, you can go to a beach with a boardwalk and amenities mm -hmm. and um, all that stuff. It's just, it's such a range. Let's talk about, I think, each of the beaches maybe, what makes them special, and then mm -hmm. also just some general tips, if that's okay. Sure, absolutely. Should we start with Buckrow, the big Absol one? Absolutely, the big one, yep, <laughs> absolutely. By far our most popular. Mm -hmm. Tell us sort of the characteristics of Buckrow Beach. Um, Buckrow Beach, uh, we have, I mean, you were talking about diversity. We have, just at Buckrow Beach itself, there's a wide, diverse areas that you can go. Um, for example, down at uh, closer to the fishing pier, uh, that's more of a, a, f a family with small children because the water is so shallow right there. Uh, to uh, the middle by the, um, the other entertainment pier uh, where it's just sort of wide open right there and then it gets a little bit quieter as you go down uh, further down the beach away from the pier. Uh, and there's something for everybody at Buckrow. Okay. One of the best exciting things is there's really nice bathrooms. <laughs> You know, if you're hauling kids to the uh, beach, yep, if you're going to yep. the beach yourself, that could be a factor. Absolutely. Um, there's a park area mm -hmm. for kids. It's, you know, fenced off. It's kind of safe. You've got, you don't want to stay in the hot sun with little kids all the time. You want to kind of do different things. Right. Uh, food trucks. Food trucks are out there. <laughs> uh, lots of vendors. And very close restaurants you could walk to, too. Yes. You know, Heaven's yes. is right there. Um, there's a new one, Stingy Midget. There's um, Coasters is opening. I mean, there's a lot of mm -hmm. things you can do, come in off the beach for an hour or so and go, go back. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, well, there's uh, jet ski rentals that are going on out there. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for the adventurous people, uh, you can grab one of those and uh, go out and, and uh, jet ski around and have some fun out there for a while. So there's, I mean, just something for everybody at Buckrow. Uh, a from nice small wide thing. beach too. Nice I think there's wide room beach. for a lot of mm -hmm. people. There's the boardwalk if you want to mm -hmm. walk around. Um, there's pretty good parking most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> I'd say 95% of the time there is abundant uh, free parking. Yes. Um, however, on a really nice weekend, on a holiday weekend, or you know, Fourth of July, it can get crowded. Um, the city is running, you guys are running a shuttle. We are running shuttles, From yes. uh, Jones Magnet Middle School parking lot. Correct. That's, um, and that is free. That um, is free and it runs uh, pretty much all day long. Yeah, and it runs Sunday until the crowd is, uh, is done yes. from the very popular Groovin' by the Bay music mm -hmm. series that's, um, that's on Sunday nights. Yep. Uh, and a farmer's market on Saturday mornings. Yes, yes, so. and we, we have other events going on. For example, this weekend we have a, um, uh, sort of a fun triathlon that we're, oh, we're having out beach. there. Life's a beach triathlon going oh, on this weekend. Yeah, there's sand volleyball, there's mm -hmm. sand soccer, and so you do have to kind of watch because um, sometimes yeah. the, there's there's stuff that kind of takes up a portion, yes, uh, a bigger portion of the beach yes. than others. Um, okay, and you have lifeguards there. We have lifeguards. We're always guarding. I mean, yesterday the, and the day before, with the weather as nasty as was, uh, we still had lifeguards that were available out there. We did have some people swimming, believe it or not, um, but we were out there guarding. Uh, if there's somebody in the water or near the water, we have guards out there. Mm -hmm. um, bring your own um, umbrellas and chairs. Or umbrellas, yeah, umbrellas and chairs, um, and the, the pop-up tents are allowed as long as they are behind the lifeguard stand so they don't block the view oh, of the water. Um, okay. And also, I know with some of the pop-up uh, units, they have sides. We don't allow sides on the beach. So um, it obstructs the view of the, the lifeguards in case something happens on, you know, actually on the beach itself. Okay. So um, those are allowed as long as they are behind uh, the lifeguard chair and oh. on, on the beach. They're not allowed in the park, but they are allowed on the beach. Okay, and no dogs during during the summer beach season. <laughs> no, no, no pets of any kind, I, actually. That really, well, but most people, it is, and it is frustrating, I think, to dog owners, but it is really important to people. You've got people picnicking out mm -hmm. there, you've got food, you've got right. little kids. Um, it just, 
Yeah, Jeez. from from People. May fifteenth to September fifteenth, there's no pets allowed on the on the beach okay. or in the park. So, um, what are or are there some things people need to watch out for? What what do people uh, get in trouble for? Get into risk situations at Buck Row. Um, at Buck Row, uh, the big ones uh, would obviously be the rock jetties. Uh, we need people to stay off the rocks. They are dangerous. Uh, they are such magnets. Like, they are. I, I swear, <laughs> I've never been either there or Fort Monroe where mm -hmm. I haven't seen someone heading out onto those onto rocks. The rocks. It, just, it calls to people. Yes, it does. But um, it's dangerous. They are dangerous. They get wet. They get slippery. Uh, you can get actually get stuck in between the rocks. Uh, so we ask people to stay off the rocks. Uh, the other thing is when you're out there uh, swimming around, you've been there for a, a while, take a break. Uh, you n know your limitations. A lot of times, especially with kids, they don't want to get out of the water. They don't want Ever. to take a break. Um, but they do get tired, and they don't realize how tired they are. So take a break, go to the bathroom, <laughs> get something to eat, things like that. Um, and listen to the lifeguards. Uh, the lifeguards are there, you know, to, to help you and save you if there's a situation. But they want to prevent it from happening in the first place. And that's why, you know, we blow our whistles and, and, and try to get people's attention. Because it... We're trying to pe stop an accident from happening before it happens. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just uh, remember sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Remember to get in the shade once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, all those kinds of things. Just don't overdo. It's so right. easy. It's easy to fall asleep on the beach. It's easy yep. to um, keep playing. Um, what else? No alcohol on the public beach. No alcohol, no glass. You can glass. bring your own coolers, but no glass. Uh, no styrofoam coolers. Oh, we don't allow that's styrofoam. Smart. Yeah, um, I didn't realize that. And, and, we want people to drink, but not just not alcohol. Um, <laughs> make sure you stay hydrated as mm -hmm. well, uh, especially on the, those hot days when you're out there for several hours. And again, um, there's plenty for sale, but you can yes. bring your own yes, if, you, if can. you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that is, you know, that's kind of the granddaddy of the beaches. There's yes. something there for everyone. In mm -hmm. fact, um, you know, this happened late last year. There is um, accessibility now for people yes. in wheelchairs and, yes. and we have not, I don't think we've said that on TV yet, but explain how that works. We actually have um, a handicap accessible wheelchair uh, that is has the big tires to go out onto the beach and roll down into the water. Uh, and there's actually pathways that people can use to get down into the down onto the beach. Uh, what somebody needs to do is if they're looking for that chair, uh, just go to one of the lifeguards and they will radio up to the, the beach captains and one of the beach captains or senior lifeguards will uh, bring the chair to wherever they are. It is so cool. I remember when, um, when the city rolled it out last year, it was mm -hmm. kind of toward the end of beach season and there's just this wonderful video of someone who hasn't been able to go in the water right. um, ever or since she was a very young child and it just, it is a, it's a it's so nice that you can bring that experience yeah. to people who don't and, normally... And the chair will go right down into the water. So it's not like we have yeah, to take floats. it to the water's edge <laughs> and, and get them out and into the water. You can actually take it out into the water. So, so it's really nice. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on doing that. That's, that's fabulous. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, so a little further up is Salt Ponds Beach, <laughs> which has really limited parking, but is a public mm -hmm. beach. Yes, it is. Does not have a lifeguard, is no. that right? No, the Salt Ponds do not have guards. Um, um, a little bit further south of that, Fort Monroe, um, oh, or is it north? That's right, I forget. Uh, I thought Fort Monroe was north, but now Maybe. I'm, oh, you're, I'm not you're sure. Correct. Yeah, and uh, there are guards at Fort Monroe um, at the coves. And that is, you know, to me, that is the best beach for little kids. Absolutely. I, they can go out for a pretty mm -hmm. long way. You've got those little coves mm -hmm. from the jetties. It's real shallow. The waves are pretty mild. Mm -hmm. It is toddler beach. And, and you know, and I like it too, because I like to sit in the water, in, the water. in my chair, <laughs> yeah. and read a book. And yes. you know, if you do that when there's waves, your book's going to get wet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And if it's an electronic book, that's really, really bad. Really bad, yes. Um, but you know, it, it, is a, it is just this gentle, laid back um, Very. kind of um, beach. Especially at low tide. You, sitting out in a chair in the water, <laughs> you're, that, that's the time for it. It's low tide. Um, but those coves are very shallow, uh, even at high tide. Mm -hmm. uh, so like you said, the families with little, little kids, if you're looking for a shallow beach, that's the area. We actually um, have uh, between the rock jetties, we have it roped off, so it's clearly defined as, as to where they can go. So, you know, we don't have kids that are gonna go out too far and 
go off the sandbar into the into the current out there. But again, so, that is why it's there's a couple reasons why it's yes. why there's a, a limit at the end. And yes. one is there's a very shallow sandbar, and you said what happens after that? It drops off uh, very very sharply, and there's actually a very strong current right there. So we, we've actually had people that have gotten caught in that current, and the guards have had to go in and, and, ch and chase them down. And even if you can swim, when you yes. hit a current like that, you're in trouble. Yes. And two, you got boats, and frankly, mm -hmm. they come pretty close. <laughs> they do. I was surprised at how close they come, but yeah, they're 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 in close to the shore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that can cause so. you know extra mm -hmm. waves and things that that you're not prepared for. So again, stay off the rocks. Stay off the rocks. Don't go past the ropes. Right. Uh, anything else to be concerned about? Um, not at not at Fort Monroe. Uh, it's pretty safe in there as long as you stay inside the rope den area, and. Um, but not as many amenities. You got portos, no. you got porta potties, not not real toilets, not, not running water, and, no and place not to as wash much your parking. Anything. Very limited Does parking. Does parking fill up? I've never, yes. I go early though, so well, I yeah. have not um, seen it. This past that. Saturday, it was Fort Monroe was very very busy this past Saturday, and parking was very very limited. And Ooh, yeah. I remember that. So, um, if you're, but there are areas where you can go on Fort Monroe Beach that aren't guarded. Okay. Uh, that are quieter. Uh, but again, you don't have the guards, you don't have as many amenities, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So, yeah. And there's no food trucks there, but no. there are restaurants on Fort Monroe. You can go to Paradise Ocean mm -hmm. Club, you can go to Dead Rise, you can go to Firehouse Subs, and sometimes there's um, food trucks at Oozle Finch. So you're near restaurants, but there's nothing right, right, right there. Right. There. right. Um, and then finally, what is also like my other favorite beach is Grandview Beach. Okay. Least crowded. <laughs> you gotta nothing, walk. Nothing, nothing there. You gotta be ready to walk yes. and carry whatever it is you need with you for right. it's a good half a mile to the beach itself and then you can walk right. well, you can walk to factory points probably another mile or more. Yeah, it's a hike. Mm -hmm. Especially when you got kids, you got all the equipment, you yeah. got the gear. Yeah. yeah. So and there's no guards out there. There's yeah. But rustic beach. Yes. I mean there's there's uh you know, you'll find more shells, more, mm -hmm. um, what are the little whelk casings, you right. can, you know, more seaweed, more driftwood. I mean, it is um, beautiful, rustic beach, yes. but it's, it's a little more of a hike yeah. than a recreational beach. Is that? Yeah, that would not be that an accurate statement. Not that this bad. Yes. It's yeah. um, very nice out there. Yes. Um, any other general things you want to caution people about or you want to um, let people know about swimming in, in our open waters? Um, just the, the thing we haven't mentioned is the, the um, sea creatures. <laughs> um, we, we haven't encountered jellyfish yet, but we but will. we will. We will. Uh, just be aware of that when you're going in. Um, and just be aware that, especially here at the beginning of the season, you have sea creatures that aren't used to people being in the water in their habitat, so they may react negatively to <laughs> people intruding on their areas. Uh, so you know, just you know, be be cognizant of that and just be careful what you're doing. Okay, when you say sea creatures, like crabs, I've stepped on crabs. Crabs, before. Um, skates. We actually had uh, one this weekend. Oh wow! Um, so. Uh, just be aware that, especially at this time of the year, you might encounter things that wouldn't normally be out there during the busier part of the season. Because they get scared away when there's scared been away. enough people. I mean, yeah. there's little fish, they just come. Yeah. It scares children, though. Like, yes. the first time a little fish nibbles on you, you're like, ah, what is that? <laughs> yeah. So, all yeah. those things. But assuming that you can listen to the lifeguards, mm -hmm. stay within the posted areas, stay off the rocks, and Fabulous, wonderful, free entertainment yep. recreation yep. all summer long. Family friendly. Yep. That's what we're here for. Okay. Well, thank right. you so much. My pleasure. It's been great. Great to talk to you. You too. And thank you for watching. I hope you will go visit any of Hampton's beaches, all of Hampton's beaches. And remember that people come here for vacation for stuff like this. And it's available to us every day of the year. And uh, the good days of the year are more than the bad days of the year. So get out there and enjoy the beach this summer safely.